Let's move now to what could potentially be better news. According to a new document released by the Vatican today, Catholics should not try to convert Jews and should work with them to fight anti-Semitism. The text also said Catholics should be particularly sensitive to the Holocaust and the significance it has for the Jews. The paper is being viewed as another step to put behind the strained Christian-Jewish relations of the past. And I'm joined now from Beit Shemesh, Israel, by Father David Newhouse, Latin Patriarchal Vicar. Father Newhouse, thank you for being with us tonight. I want to begin by saying it is a significant statement, saying that Jews do not need Christ to be saved. And before we elaborate on what that means for relations between the two religions, how does this statement reflect on the values of Christianity? Well, I don't think that you've summed it up correctly. I think that what the statement is really saying is that God is always faithful to the promises that God makes, and that it's not for Christians to dictate what that means for Jews. So I think that it's a little different from the way that you summed it up, okay? I think that what Christians have been underlining over the past 50 years in a revolution in relations between Christians and Jews is that Christians really understand much more deeply the Jewish roots that give them sustenance. They need to really understand Jewish scripture. They need to come to terms with the fact that their Messiah is a Jew, a member of the people of Israel, and that God has in his plan a continuing significance for the Jewish people. Well, Father Newhouse, let's uh, elaborate a little more on the mention of the Holocaust in this regard. It's mm -hmm. especially yeah. important. Do you also believe that a recognition of the Jewish people's biggest trauma will in fact bring relations closer? Well, uh, I don't think that that's what, that's what this document is doing. That's what a document did that was published in 1998 called We Remember. And in that document, all Catholics throughout the world were called to recognize not only the traumatic significance that the Shoah has for the Jewish people, but also the part that Christians played in that trauma through their way of speaking about Jews, a teaching of contempt for Jews, and Christians were called to really make a big revolution in the way that they think about Jews. This revolution goes all the way back to 1965. So the new document is, in fact, a document that is published on the 50th anniversary of the document that signaled a revolution, a real turnaround, where now Christians are called to actively fight against any form of anti-Semitism, any form of anti-Judaism, not only because of the harm that it does to the Jewish people, but also because this attitude is not consonant with who we are as Christians. So yes. this, I think, is a real revolution, yes. yes but a revolution that has been going on already for 50 years, that the new document comes to underline, and again underlines in particular, the faithfulness of God to God's promises. Yes, enlightening words, Father Newhouse. Thank you for joining us from Beit Shemes. Certainly bringing religions together is something we need more of in this region. Father David Newhouse, thank you for being with us.